Let us begin our course by talking about differential equation. What is a differential equation? A differential equation is any relation between a function, independent variable, and the derivative or derivatives of that function. So when you're talking about ordinary differential equation or ODEs, it involves the derivative of function with respect to a single independent variable, just one independent variable. If you have more than one independent variable and you start taking the partial derivatives, that is partial differential equation, that's a different story. For example, dy over dx is equal to f of x. Recall that dy over dx of a function is another function itself. And sometimes we represent this by f prime or y prime. What are some examples of differential equations? For example, here you have y prime equals to four. x is independent variable. y depends on x. The second equation says, hey, I'm taking the second derivative of y with respect to x, and I set it equal to the first derivative of y with respect to x plus constant four. There's a relation between the derivative of y, which is the first derivative, the second derivative, and you have equation, so it is a differential equation. The last one says, hey, I'm taking the derivative of y with respect to x, and it is equal to 2x minus y to the second power. So these are three examples of differential equations. In this course, we're going to learn how to solve these differential equations. We can basically model anything using differential equations. Just keeping you interested in the course and in the contents, take a look at this example. The cooling of a dead body follows Newton's law of cooling, which can be expressed as first order linear differential equation. The rate of change of temperature with respect to time is equal to negative k, k is a constant, times t, the temperature, minus the temperature of the room. This equation basically describes how the body's temperature changes over time. Basically, you have a differential equation. On the left-hand side, you have the rate of change or the derivative, and on the right-hand side, you have t as a function, and then some constants, and then multiplication. Next example for you. A simple model for the rate of memorization can be expressed as a first-order linear differential equation. Suppose m of t represents the amount of memorized at time t, and m sub maximum be the maximum amount that can be memorized. We have limited capacity, am I right? The rate of change of memorization, dm dt, can be modeled using a differential equation. So on the left-hand side, you have the derivative, and on the right-hand side, you have k times m maximum minus function m. This equation basically describes how the rate of memorization depends on the difference between the amount of already memorized and the total amount that can be memorized. We have many examples that we're going to go over in this course, but these are some of them to keep you interested in the topic.